Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. My dad and I experienced some of the worst fishing my dad has ever seen in the past 30 years. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, oh, oh my God. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. Oh, oh my awesome. gosh. Yes, folks, it's kind of a spooky, foggy morning, and today is April the 28th, and we're on Little Cedar Lake in West Bend, Wisconsin, about 20 miles from my house. And Blake, this is actually where I started my love of fishing at age five. You too, right? Yeah, you brought me here, and this is like, a lot of my first memories of fishing is this lake. Yeah, you and your sister Taylor yep. and I would come out here and catch bluegills and uh -huh. crappies. And uh, today is kind of interesting. We got uh, 41 degrees this morning in this mm -hmm. really, really thick, dense, thick. dense fog. And I don't yeah. know how the well the fish are going to bite. But, you know, today is Wednesday and we got to have a show this Saturday. And, and we couldn't find anybody to fish with. And I'm finally back in the boat. Yeah, <laughs> two people have been asking where you've been. Well, because of the virus, we didn't want to have the boat. And no we problem. got a new recon and our Evernote and Ryan's gonna fish today, it's gonna be a good day. Hey folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. Folks, I'm at the Recon Factory up in Iola, Wisconsin, and as you know, I've been running Recon boats the last four years, and I can tell you this, the Recon hull design is the best in the business. This is the smoothest rod you'll ever want to find, and I run the 2185, but we've got John here as the creator of Recon Boats. We have other models too, don't we, John? Absolutely. We have an 895, which is our new model, our 18-footer, and we also have a 19-footer, one in the middle. And the big news here at Recon is the fact that we've got a tiller coming. Yes, we have an 18-foot tiller coming. Um, it's going to have a 9-foot rod locker and an 18-foot boat. Um, all the features for the beginner or the diehard fisherman. And this is a complete package you're putting together on, on, on these tillers, right? Yes. Yeah, it'll be boat motor trailer. It'll have two locators, a trolling motor, onboard charger, cover, all the seats, everything you need for fishing. And what you told me, too, is this is priced right. Yep, we're trying to keep it a good price point um, so everybody can have one. And the neat thing is, is the, that these boats are built right here in Wisconsin, and they're custom designed, aren't they? For each customer, we typically get the order, custom colors, custom layout features, options, everything for the customer. Recon boats, I'll tell you what, uh, support the Midwest and the USA, right? Absolutely. Hey folks, you can win this all new 2020 Yamaha X2 XTR. This is the same machine that we use on the show. Of course, we depend on Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides to get us where we need to go to catch fish. Now you have a chance to win this one for yourself. This XTR Edition Wolverine is ready for extreme adventure with a factory installed Warren Winch, special edition paint, color matched wheels, and aggressive GBC Dirt Commander tires. It's really easy to enter. Find the link on our Facebook, Instagram, or website. Good luck. Hey, here we go, Blake. You're going to have to get that net there. You must, uh, did you get spot lock? Yeah, I hit spot yeah, lock right away. Let's see what we got here. We have ourselves a tiny, teeny pike. <laughs> well, hey, I'll tell you what. Some sign of life. Yeah, I think I can just flip him in there. He's kind of small. But on that, oh, on that, oh, oh, on the jerk minnow there. But uh, no, we've been fishing for about an hour and waiting for this fog to lift. And I think if we get some sun, that that's going to make a big difference. And uh, we're fishing weeds in about six feet of water, folks. And again, I'm just throwing a jerk bait with a light Google Eye jig on it and uh, just fishing over the tops of the weeds. We started out in 12 feet of water. 
not a single bite from the three of us for an hour. So I'm moving us into six feet, Ryan. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Well, you got to catch one. Hey, look at this. We are going to catch our first bass of the Woo! day, Blake. Yeah, there we go. Small pike and small pike and small bass. Yeah. But we've been fishing real shallow water today, yeah. you know, two to eight feet. So we moved a little deeper. Yeah. So maybe that's the ticket. Well, it has been a long day, and poor Ryan has not had a bite yet, have you? I haven't you? either. You have this not had a bite? This is my first time in the boat for like a long, very long time. So I'm not the greatest guide in the world. I guess not. Well, folks, Blake, Ryan, and I caught one more small bass after six hours of fishing. We decided to call it quits because we were just spinning our wheels. And today we have what we call 20 to 40 mile an hour northeast winds. Today is Wednesday the 29th. Got to have a show for this Saturday. So we're with our buddy Brett Jolly up in Marathon County on the Wisconsin River. And Brett, when you have high winds like this, this is pretty much all you can do to try and catch fish is get on a river, right? Yeah, John, you know, we're, we're protected down here in the river. That's that's the really nice thing about fishing down here is there's always a place to hike. You can always get out of that wind. It's not like when I'm guiding over on Green Bay and you're just out of luck when it's windy. So we're out here, you know, we've got a lot of different protected areas to fish. And this is a great time of year when the weather's decent, but we're going to try really hard. We'll get some fish. Walleyes? Hopefully some walleyes, maybe some pike, some catfish. Who knows? Here we go, Jolly Buddy. What, what and that there? was on that tickle tail stupid looking grunt thing that works. What's a <laughs> tickle tail grub? Let's see what we got here, pal. Fighting pretty good, man. Yeah. All right. And this is not a small fish. Let's see what we got here, man. Ooh, look at that, Jal. Catfish. Big old Caterino. <laughs> Those are cool. You're going to, because of Corona, you're going to have to hold them up up there, sure. buddy. But uh, you were telling me that this is kind of a potpourri this time of year. You don't yeah. know what you're going to catch. Well, the river is kind of like that year round. Um, we get all kinds of different fish. Yeah. That's kind of the fun part of fishing down here. You never know if you're going to get a catfish or a walleye or musky, pike, smallmouth, a little bit of everything. Now, you love the action on that thing. It's, it's awesome, actually. I mean, that little tickle tail deal, it just spins and vibrates back there. And we've had some good luck with it already this year. Can you eat those things? Those yeah, chairs? absolutely. These yeah. are really good eating in here. It's pretty good eating size too. And just steady retrieve. Steady retrieve, that's it. Hey, breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Buy a St. Croix rod starting at a low fleet price of $89.99 and you get a free $20 gift card. Buy a St. Croix rod and get a $20 gift card. They're not jumping in the boat today, no, are they? It's a tough day, but uh, you know, we can always find some fish down here on the river. Yeah. You know. well, that's why I'm here. Right? <laughs> Hey, it's a walleye, it's a buddy. Walleye, it's not a, a giant. Yeah, and there, there's a ton of those 14 inches, aren't yeah, there? Yeah, there's a pile of small fish in here. So, that, you know, it's kind of the fun thing about fishing here is you catch a lot. They're not always big. We do get big fish, but uh, what I did was I switched to a stinger eagle claw stinger hook. Um, I had missed a couple bites before, and I got them on just that stinger. So that is a what size eagle claw is that? It's a number 10. Uh, hook that I just got a short piece of line for a stinger and that does the trick when they're biting light. And Eagle Claw is? The only hook made in the USA. Hey, there we go, Jal. You don't need the net. Get away from me. Corona, Corona. <laughs> I'll just flip him in. Oh, that's not too bad of a walleye there. And look at how he ate that though, Jolly. I mean, he's got that way down in there. I mean, what I did with this cold front here, a really good bait in these cold front situations, Brett, is just using a, an Eagle Claw Gold hook, an Aberdeen hook, and a minnow, and just dragging that with a sinker along the bottom. But uh, that one's way in there, man. I'm gonna, I don't know if this guy's gonna make it. I gave him a little bit too much time, I think. But not bad, buddy. And you know, we're not finding, you know, there's, there's probably schools of fish here, but with this cold front and this big low pressure system we got going, they're tough. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just, tough conditions. Typically here on the river, this spot in particular, it's fish after fish that size, plus plus some nicer ones too. But uh, when it's cold like this, you got to work for them. Well, folks, to give you an idea about how slow and miserable this fishing is on the Wisconsin River today, we've been fishing a, 
about three, three and a half hours, and we have those two little walleyes to show for. And uh, I mean, this is a nasty low pressure system. But I guess, Jolly, what you got to do is just keep moving around, trying different de depths, different techniques, right? Usually the best thing to do is go to the areas that you know always hold fish and just work it slow, live bait, and just work it really, really hard. And as an absolute last resort, just go home. That gold hook again, buddy. That gold hook, man. I'll tell you what, folks, it has been a long time since we have caught a walleye. <laughs> I'm talking how many hours? It's been a long time. It has been a it's long been time. <laughs> but actually what we did is we went deep and we're just dragging these along the bottom, folks. And uh, it's the only option we have. And you know, a lot of people ask me if we've ever aired a repeat in 29 years. We're getting close. <laughs> we're, we're getting close. I mean, that's a trophy today. And we're dealing with, you know, the wind is actually blowing about 35 or 40. But that's that little gold Aberdeen hook that Eagle Claw makes. What I like about that in a river, folks, if you get stuck on a rock or in wood, you can bend them out with your line and then just bend them back straight. Don't tell my dentist. I just go like this and it's back to normal, see? But you don't lose as many hooks that way. But again, just bite it like that, and it goes back to normal. Yay, Yay got one. Worst fishing day of the year. Yay. Wow, now there's a whopper dopper, buddy. It's a tiny one. Now that <laughs> takes skill, though. Well, yeah, they got smaller mouths when they're like this. Hey. It's hard to get that hook in there. No, seriously, dude, <laughs> that, that's a trophy today, buddy. Today, yeah. It, I'll take it, How I guess. How do you think that fish is? That's got to be solid eight inches. Uh, no, how old? How old? Oh, that's uh, one or two. One or two years yeah, old? Yeah, maybe a year old. You, you really do have a ton of walleyes up here in the river, buddy. But there are. We're having trouble finding them here, folks. We're going to keep plugging away, but that's a beauty, Jal. <laughs> We were fishing the Wisconsin River in Marathon County, a two and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, three and a half from Chicago, and three hours from Minneapolis. It's hard to put our adventures on hold, but now is the perfect time to prepare for their return. Amsoil has your back with fast, free shipping, and ordering has never been easier. Just look up your vehicle, Select your product, add an oil change to your cart, and check out. Spend $50 on Amsoil products, and shipping is on us. Order now at Amsoil.com. The first thing that we're going to do today is attack panfish in the basin of a lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. This is not too early to come out and catch walleyes, huh? It's never too early. This middle of May stuff for walleyes, it's cool. It's a night and day difference putting the bait mate on. This is ranked as one of the top smallmouth destinations in the world. And that bait mate does work, doesn't it? It does. August is a great time to come here. We're going to be targeting lake trout today. It's fall. <laughs> well, yeah, it is fall. It's really a blast coming out here musky fishing. Catch more fish all year long with Baitmate Fish Attractant. Check it out at baitmate.com. Over time, there's always been this game of nip and tuck with professional shallow water guides balancing weight with power. With the new 140 G2, now I have an inline three cylinder that will still allow me to float in less than 10 inches of water. The bonus is, is I've got all the power and torque I want now, and I've got way more speed than I deserve. I just had a, there we go. I just had a bite too. Ooh, this one feels a little bit better. You need the clam? No. It's not that big. Okay. Oh, oh nice crappie. look at that. Hey, hey did you put better. that on spot lock? I probably should, yeah. Yeah, no kidding, buddy. That is a beautiful crappie. Beautiful crappie. Yeah. And those are common here, Jal? There's a lot of nice crappies in this system. Yeah. Um, whether it's, you know, down here in the river or on any of the flowages, we've got a ton of beautiful crappies. Well, I just had a bite too. 
Yeah. And you know, you know what that means, right? Maybe we found a school of crappies. But I mean, look at the width on those, and those river crappies to me are always so beautiful, yeah. aren't they? Oh yeah, really pretty colors on this one. And how deep was that fish sitting? Ooh, we're in 17 feet of water. Hey, Jolly Moo! What do you got? I hope it's a crappie, but I don't know. What do we got here? Nice walleye. Ooh, that's the biggest walleye of the day. There we go. There we go. Ooh. All righty, buddy. <laughs> Well, Fish are we biting. Were, we were going to move to another spot, but we're getting late in the day, buddy. Yeah, and it's... I know that you're cold. I've got a little chill going, yeah. And uh, I really do appreciate you hanging out, buddy, but uh, <laughs> I guess we'll just stay here instead of going down to another stretch. I, I think that's probably the best bet. You know, we'll try to get a few more fish, see what we can do. But, uh, you know, it's just a tough day. But yeah. like, I, like I said before, normally the fishing's really, really good in here this time of year. Actually, all year it's very good, but uh, well, I gotta bring it's up, just a tough day. Yeah, and I got to bring up the COVID virus. I mean, this right. is not your and my first choice in late April. No. Oh, I no, mean, there's, there's definitely the other places. Bay or... I would like to be on the bay, but, you know, I, I'm staying close to home and, right. you know, you guys come and visit. But uh, it's it's just a tough time of year. Yeah, you know, it's and tough. we don't have the options we normally have. Exactly. So let's make the best of it, buddy. Hey, look at the blue sky above your head there. Wow. I don't know what this is, Jolly. Here he come. Uh, oh, my gosh. Hey, look at that. He's got a new rod. Hey, on a slow day, you'll take anything, right? <laughs> Wow, look at that. that. That's a nice rod and reel. I guess it, that's for Ryan the photographer to have, isn't it, Jolly? Yeah, that'd be a good one for Ryan. There you go, Ryan, this is for you. Thank you. Okay, buddy, that's all yours. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate it. On a slow day to catch a rod and reel is exciting. You know, folks, Hummerbird is always coming up with new and innovative ideas to help you catch more fish. And this year we have mega side imaging connected right to our Altera. And Jolly, you really rely on side imaging a ton. How is that front side imaging gonna help you even more? Well, John, having the transducer in the front of the boat, now I can see what's out to the sides from the bow, not just the back end of my boat. So as I'm moving along a shoreline or any piece of structure, I'm seeing what's out ahead of the boat instead of what I've already gone by. So it really, really helps to find those fish that are on the flats and stuff like that that we fish a lot. You can actually pick out a fish and cast to it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And you've seen that for muskies too? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know how many muskies where I've seen it on the side imaging, casted to it and caught it. And the clarity uh, of the image itself is really incredible. It, it's, it's amazing. When, when I look at it and I see a muskie on there, I know it's a muskie. You can see the fins, the shape, everything. And you've guided walleyes all your life. And, and I think, you know, what you always let, like to look for is those rock and sand edges. The edge. and, and that's yep. tremendous on there. Yes, it, it's, it's so easy to find that transition from hard bottom to soft, that rock to sand. And when you find those areas, you're going to find a lot of walleyes. Same for weed edges too? Absolutely. The weeds are really easy to pick out. And again, what you like about the front is you can see what's ahead of you. Exactly. And that's called Mega Side Imaging. Jolly Jolly! Actually, I think this one might be 14 inches long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! We got ourselves a legal walleye! There we go. Well, I guess we don't want to get the clam. All right, we'll flip him in. Well, he's pretty close. I'll bet you that's 15. What do oh, you yeah. think? That's a keeper. Yay, a keeper walleye. <laughs> Look at how he t in that minnow. Wow. Jolly, you're going to, we're not going to have to air a repeat, Jolly. You're <laughs> doing it, buddy. Now, folks, this is a, when you got a cold front like this, this is a very effective way to fish. A lindy rig or just a split shot and a hook and, and, and just like we said before, slowly covering an area like that. And uh, again, he hit Jolly. I put my rod down and gave him about five, 10 seconds and that hook was still just right there, you know? So that means what? It means they are not active today, it's, it's, it, which we've seen. They are just not aggressive. Uh, every bite has just been very, very light. Oh, yeah, I got one going here, John. Oh, Ooh, oh yeah. nicely that done there, Jalorama. Way to go, buddy. We're going to pull this out. Oh, ooh, there's a decent one. Is that legal? That's pretty close. Well, if we measured him, I bet you he'd be 
real close. Maybe not quite, but I, I enjoy running that bomb on in these wind gusts. That's fun. It's uh, definitely pushing you around, but beats being out on Green Bay in this kind of wind. Everybody loves bacon. And guess what? I found something even more flavorful than bacon from Johnsonville. Oh yeah, those are the new Johnsonville sausage strips. And they come in a couple different flavors, right? Yep, original, maple, spicy, and chorizo. And the best way to cook these folks is put them on medium to high heat and cook them until they're a little crispy. That's the best way. Or you can put them in the microwave for just a couple of minutes and they're just as good and crispy. Yeah. Yeah, Dad, I love the Johnsonville sausage strips for breakfast with my scrambled eggs and dinner with my BLTs. And I'll tell you what, they are better than bacon. Oh, yeah. Johnsonville sausage strips are now available at Myers, Festival of Foods, and Woodlands, and they're coming to your favorite retailer quite soon. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2020 Fishing Contest. Gail Olson of Frederick caught this 40-inch northern on Balsam Lake on a shiner. John Wild of Plymouth caught this 14-inch crappie on Big Elkhart Lake on a Castmaster. Ron Ryba II of Michigan City, Indiana caught this 32-inch walleye on Lake Michigan on a flicker shad. Frank Bockel of Camp Point, Illinois caught this 15-inch perch on Devil's Lake on a minnow. And this week's kids winners are Jack Lagerwall of Sun Prairie caught the this 37 inch northern on Lake Mendota on a shiner and Jacob Shaw of Surprise Arizona caught this 25 inch bass on the Colorado River on a blade jig. Each week I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. Check out what I found this week. 125 yard fireline superline fishing line is on sale for $9.99. And save 20% on the Northland Fishing Tackle 6-Pack Fireball Jig on sale for $3.99. The Kales Google Eye Jig features a built-in glass rattle that creates a deadly combination of sight and sound. Its shockwave rattle system has been designed to call fish in. The lifelike rattle reflects the light and adds a dimension like no other. Available in two styles and 13 colors. Hey, Blake, we're heading out on Green Bay tomorrow, and the weatherman said it's supposed to be really, really rough. Just to be safe, I want to put in a higher capacity Johnson bilge pump. Dad, you don't need all those tools to change a Johnson bilge pump. All you need is a higher capacity Johnson cartridge motor. It's that simple. Hey, Blake, that is really cool. I guess I won't need these. Johnson cartridge bilge pumps, the highest capacity, the easiest to maintain, and the easiest to install. Johnson Pump, our choice for safety and reliability. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple, it's all in the features. Fortis nets by Clam Outdoors are tough. Safe on fish. Easy to use. And a telescoping handle. Learn more about Fortis nets at clamoutdoors.com. There's a jolly one. jolly! Not a big one. Oh, a teenser. <laughs> a little guy. But that one actually ate it pretty good. It ate that little uh, floating jig head I had on this rod. Now, in all the years that we have filmed, would we have ever filmed that before? No, never. <laughs> yeah, back in the boat there, buddy. And let's see how this one doesn't feel that big either. We're on a school of teensies. <laughs> Charlie, you're laughing up there in the front of the boat. The guy who's caught so many 10-pound walleyes on our show, you know? Yeah. Well, sometimes the little ones are fun, too. <laughs> Today they are. <laughs> Oops. Jolly, jolly. Yep, just letting them eat it. Light bite. And he dropped it. That's happened quite a few times. It happens a lot, where they just grab it and they drop it. You know, it's, they're just so inactive today. Well, that's why earlier when you were using a stinger that's on a jig, you were using a stinger hook. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> there we go, Jallo. <laughs> Ooh, Jallo Roo. What do you got? I don't know. I got myself a holster. Oh, there we go. There's a jumbo of the day. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> but hey, dude, 
we're pulling this out. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I get my minnow back too. But yeah, folks, when they bite, you got to like give them some slack for, I'd say about five seconds. And again, that one was hooked right there. And Jolly, you know, you're not seeing it today, but you and I have film shows here in the past. And, and, and this Wisconsin River, I think all year long, spring, summer, fall is outstanding. And tell the folks what you got and not just walleyes. Yeah, John, we've got excellent fishing for just about every species. You know, the crappie fishing is outstanding, uh, smallmouth, catfish, uh, and some of the best musky fishing in Wisconsin. And, and it's very underrated. Not a lot of people know about it. Not a lot of people fishing down here. And you guide here, you'll, you're available every day when, once COVID's done. Yeah. And uh, I think, you know, in the summertime, it's so beautiful to come down here. There's yeah. eagles and deer and everything else. Yeah, it's, you know, and it's quiet. You don't run into a lot of other fishermen. Uh, it's a very natural area, you can see. Uh, so it, it's it's a lot of fun being in here. Summer, fall, fall's my favorite, but yeah. summer, summer's great up here too. And we catch a lot of really nice walleyes and muskies all summer long. Jolly Jolly, uh, don't miss him! Oh, Jollo! I suck. What happened there? I missed him. Well, I know. Again. <laughs> well, they're biting light. Brett Jolly guides the Wisconsin River on a daily basis. For more information, give Brett a call. That number is 715-581-5678. 581-5678. The Kalen's Google Eye Swing Head features a wide base with a built-in glass rattle that puts off a lot of vibration and noise into the water. And the wide base allows it to not get snagged as much along the bottom. Check this out, three sizes and three colors. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's custom steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's custom steps, call 920-315-0333. From the kennel to the coop, whatever the season, Fleet Farm has everything to keep your animals happy and healthy. Whether it's keeping the backyard birds well-fed season, mastering those retrieval skills season, or wondering who takes care of who season, there's a reason people say if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it, because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Hey, Brett, just for memory's sake, I want to look back at a couple of the big fish that we caught, usually this time in April on the Bay of Green Bay, but not being able to go over there this year. You know, we, we fish where we can. And uh, when this COVID deal is over, you're going to be guiding here and the Bay, right? Yeah, John, I'll be on the Bay. I'll be here all throughout summer, fall, you know, as soon as I can legally be back on the water guiding, uh, which hopefully is soon. But uh, yeah, I'll be guiding hardcore the rest of the year. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. Fishing man is everything done here. Yeah.